so you've had your Macintosh computer for a few years and it's worked perfectly and now you're having some problems well nothing lasts forever people you have to do a little bit of maintenance once in a while so you go to your finder click on finder and then go into applications now in applications scroll down until you see a utilities folder and there it is so you can double click on that now you've opened that up and in here you have something called directory utility and disk utility so you want the disk utility so double click there and you want to select the Macintosh hard drive right here so click once on that that's, that highlights it, selects it. Then you go down and you click on Repair Disk Permissions. Now I'm not going to do it because I just did it recently here. <clears throat> so when you click on that, all kinds of stuff is going to start happening in this window. And it might take 5 or 10 minutes to um, repair all those disk permissions. And then your computer may run better for you. So give that a try. Now here's another thing you can do for a little bit of maintenance. You uh, open up your finder again, go into applications. I'm going to go to that same utilities folder in applications and go down here to disk utilities again. So we'll double click and open that up. Once again it's gathering information and uh, you click on Macintosh hard drive again. That's your internal drive that you're trying to do a little maintenance on. And we just did the repair uh, disk permissions. Now you can verify your, your hard drive to see if it's uh, functioning the way it should be. So, Alright, so as you can see, my disk has problems. And uh, so I'll have to insert my Leopard uh, disk when I, that I got when I upgraded to Leopard. And we're going to run this utility that came with uh, my Leopard upgrade when I bought it. And a long time ago when I first did this, I wrote the instructions down here. And it says to run the disk utilities, insert the disk, and restart the computer. Hold down the C key until you see Choose English Window. Then click on Verify Disk. And if there's problems, click on Repair Disk. And so that's what we're going to do. So now we're going to restart using this disk. So we insert it. And as soon as, soon as it reads it, and, and the icon pops up on the screen here. Okay, so we've got the disk in and it opened up. So the next thing we need to do is restart the computer. So you go up here, Apple, and click on Restart. Now, as soon as you hit this restart button, you're going to hold the C key down on your computer. All right, so here we go. Restart. Now, I'm holding that key down. Oops. All right, C key. All right, now the computer is restarting. But instead of using its internal drive to restart, it's going to use this leopard disk that I put in there. Okay, and so now we just have to wait until usually you just wait until the, the Apple logo shows up. And it takes a little bit of time. There's the Apple logo, so you can let go of the C key. Okay, so once it opens up, you get this screen here, but you would you don't want to install Macintosh. Uh, OS 10. So forget all this stuff on the screen. And you're going to go up here to where it says Utilities. Right there it is. You click on Utilities and then you go down to Disk Utility. 
and now you're going to get that same screen that you saw when you went to run the disk utility on your computer. Okay, and so now um, you select the Macintosh hard drive. That's the one we want to fix. And then go down here and click on uh, repair disk. Okay, so we clicked on repair disk. And now we're getting a message that says verify and repair volume Macintosh hard drive. And it gives a list, list of stuff there. So it's repaired away. There's our little blue bar. Okay, so after it gets done running, if everything goes right, you should get that little message in green. The volume Macintosh hard drive was repaired successfully. So that's a good thing. So after it repaired the disk, now you're just going to go up here to disk utility. Up here to disk utility. There we go. And quit disk utility. Okay, and then you'll get the Mac OS 10 installer. So you just quit that. And you'll get this thing here that says restart. So this time when you restart, you don't hold any key down. And the computer just restarts itself and you're good to go. You've just repaired your disk.